Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss singular value decomposition that is SVD in machine learning with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a matrix A with the two rows and two columns. Given this matrix, uh, we need to find the decomposition of A with the three singular matrices that is U, Sigma and V transpose here, where U is of uh, dimension M cross M. Sigma is a matrix with the dimension m cross n and v transpose is a matrix with the dimension n cross n in this case and once you multiply all these things you will get again m cross n here that is what the original matrix in this case now to get uh, these three things uh, we need to follow a simple procedure here so first we have been given the matrix a with the two rows and two columns next we need to calculate the transpose of a so the rows will become columns and columns will become rows in this case once you calculate the A transpose, the next step is to calculate A multiplied by A transpose. So here this is A and this is A transpose. Whenever we do the matrix multiplication, the rows are multiplied by the columns in this case. So this one will be multiplied to this one. We will get one here plus this one is multiplied with this one. So you will get one. One plus one is equal to two here. Similarly, this same row is multiplied with the second column here. So one into seven is seven. And this 1 into 7 is equal to 7, which is equal to 14 here. Similarly, we have to calculate the complete matrix here. Now, once you calculate the A multiplied by A transpose, the next step is to calculate A transpose multiplied by A here. So, again, this is A transpose, this is A. This row will be multiplied with the first column here. You will get 50. This row will be multiplied with the second column. You will get this 50. This row will be multiplied with the first column, you will get 50, second column, you will get again 50 here. So we got A multiplied by A transpose as well as A, A transpose multiplied by A here. Now once you get these two things, the next step is to calculate the left singular vector uh, that is U here. To calculate U, we need to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of uh, A multiplied by A transpose here. To calculate the eigenvalues, uh, we need to use this equation that is uh, A multiplied by A transpose minus lambda i which is equal to 0 where i is the identity matrix so a a transpose is known to us lambda what we want to calculate that's the eigenvalue and i is the identity matrix once you put these values and uh, simplify it you will get 2 minus lambda 14 14 98 minus uh, lambda which is equal to 0 here now once you get this thing uh, we want to calculate the value of lambda here so in this case, uh, what we do is uh, we will take the determinant of this uh, matrix that is nothing but 2 minus lambda multiplied by 98 minus uh, lambda minus 14 into 14 here. So that is what I have written here. Again, once you simplify this uh, equation, you will get uh, lambda square minus 100 lambda is equal to 0. You take uh, lambda outside here. So if you take lambda outside, you will get uh, lambda minus 100, which is equal to 0 here. The meaning of this one is uh, lambda will be 0 one time and the lambda is equal to 100 second time. Now, once you calculate the eigenvalues, the next step is to calculate the eigenvectors here. So, let's assume that uh, the first eigenvector which is uh, corresponding to lambda is equal to 0, that is the first eigenvalue is v equals to xy in this case. Now, how to calculate the eigenvector? Eigenvector is calculated uh, with this equation that is uh, a multiplied by a transpose in this case multiplied by v that is eigenvector which is equal to lambda multiplied by v here. So, a multiplied by a transpose is known to us, v is equal to xy that is known to us, which is equal to lambda that is 0 and again xy that is v here. Now, once you multiply this 0 to the right hand side, say x and y, you will get 0 here and left side, the row will be multiplied with the column here. That is nothing but 2x plus 14y, that is what I have written here. 14x plus 98y, that is what I have written in the second uh, uh, row here. Now, we need to simplify this thing so that we can calculate uh, the x and y. Either we can take first equation or second equation. Uh, we will get the value of x and y in this case. So, 2x uh, plus 14y is equal to 0. That is nothing but uh, x plus 7 uh, y is equal to 0. That is nothing but x is equal to minus 7y in this case. So, if the value of uh, y is equal to 1, the x will become minus 7 here. That's the reason x is equal to minus 7 and y is equal to 1 here. So, we have calculated the eigenvector in this case. Now, uh, we need to convert this eigenvector into a unit eigenvector by dividing this eigenvector by the length of this uh, uh, eigenvector here. 
Now the question is how to calculate the length of this eigenvector. The length of this eigenvector is calculated using this formula that is square root of the first value bracket square plus second value bracket square here. That is nothing but square root of minus 7 bracket square plus 1 square which is equal to square root of 50 which is equal to 7.07 in this case. Now once you get the length we need to divide the eigenvector by this length. Uh, that is nothing but uh, x y is equal to minus 7 divided by 707. 1 divided by 707 you will get minus uh, 0 0.99 0 0.14 in this case. So this is the eigenvector corresponding to y is lambda is equal to 0 in this case. Now we will consider uh, the second eigenvalue that is uh, lambda is equal to 100. We follow the same procedure here that is a multiplied by a transpose v that is x y lambda is 100 and this is v again. Now we need to uh, simplify this one. You will get uh, minus 98x plus 14y, 14x minus uh, 2y which is equal to 0 here. Again I will take this equation, uh, 14x minus uh, 2y is equal to 0, that is nothing but 7x uh, minus y is equal to 0 here. Now uh, 7x is equal to y in this case, that is nothing but if x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 7 in this case. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 7 here. Again we need to calculate the length of this uh, vector. And then we need to divide it so that we will get the unit eigenvector here. So again the length is calculated using this formula that is square root of uh, 1 square plus 7 square which is equal to 707 here. Again the second eigenvector's unit length is uh, xy is equal to 1 divided by 707, 7 divided by 707 which is equal to this value here. Now we have calculated the eigenvector corresponding to the second eigenvalue also. Now once you calculate the eigenvectors for both the eigenvalues, the next step is to write the u here. To write u, we need to sort the eigenvectors according to their eigenvalues. So the first one will be the uh, eigenvector with the largest eigenvalue. In this case, eigenvalue uh, 100 will come first because this is the largest one and second eigenvalue is 0. So that is what will be the second column in this case. With this procedure, we have calculated uh, the singular vector u here. Now we will try to calculate uh, the singular vector v transpose in this case. Again we are going to use the same procedure, only difference is uh, rather than using a multiplied by a transpose, we are going to use a transpose multiplied by a here. Uh, for that reason, first we will try to calculate the eigenvalues, then eigenvectors here. So to calculate eigenvalues, uh, again the formula is same. In this case it will be a transpose a minus uh, lambda i which is equal to 0 here. So again we know all these values, once you put it you will get uh, this uh, matrix here. Now we will try to calculate the determinant of uh, this matrix, that is nothing but uh, 50 minus lambda multiplied by 50 minus lambda minus 50 into 50 here. So that is what I have written which is equal to 0. Once you simplify it you will get lambda square minus 100 lambda is equal to 0. Again if you simplify this lambda will be equal to 0 one time and lambda will be 100 in the second time here. So we have calculated the eigenvalues again. Next, we need to calculate the first eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 0 here. Again, v is equal to xy in this case. So, uh, to calculate the eigenvectors, the formula is same. a transpose multiplied by a multiplied by v is equal to lambda. That is nothing but eigenvalue multiplied by v here. Now, we need to multiply this row to this column here. You will get 50x plus 50y. That is what I have written here. Second row multiplied by the column here 50x plus uh, 50y that is what I have written here which is equal to 0. The meaning of this equation is uh, 50x is equal to minus uh, 50y that is nothing but x is equal to minus y here. Whenever the value of y is equal to 1 the x will become uh, minus 1 in this case. Again we need to calculate the length of this matrix and then we need to divide it so that you will be able to get uh, the eigenvector with uh, unit length here. The same procedure we need to follow to calculate the length. Once you divide this with uh, the length, you will get this as the uh, first eigenvector for V transpose in this case. Now we will go with the lambda is equal to 100 here. Again, the procedure is same. Uh, this is A transpose multiplied by A, C, which is equal to lambda V here. Once you simplify it, you will get minus 50x plus 50y. 50x minus 50y is equal to 0. That is nothing but 50x is equal to 50y. That is nothing but x is equal to y here. So whenever the value of y is equal to 1, x will become 1 in this case. So that is what the uh, eigenvector we got. Again, we need to calculate uh, the length and then we need to divide it so that we will get the unit uh, eigenvector here. So the length in this case is 
once you divide this one you will get 0 0.70 and 0 0.70 as the second eigenvector with unit length in this case again we need to write this uh, singular vector v transpose here for that reason first we need to arrange the eigenvectors in descending order uh, that's the reason uh, the first one uh -huh. will be the eigenvector with lambda is equal to 100 and second one will be lambda is equal to 0 here so we have calculated uh, u as well as v transpose the next step is to calculate uh, the sigma here to calculate the sigma uh, the sigma is always uh, m cross n matrix with uh, 0 as the values except the diagonal elements for diagonal elements what we do we calculate the square of eigenvalues here that is uh, largest to smallest in this case so the largest uh, eigenvalue is 100 square root of 100 that will be the first uh, diagonal element the second diagonal element will be square root of second eigenvalue that is 0 here remaining all will be 0 in this case so square root of 100 is 10 square root of 0 is equal to 0 remaining all already 0 in this case so this is nothing but sigma here so we have calculated u sigma as well as v transpose once you put all those things in this equation you will get the singular value decomposition for the given matrix in this case that is uh, this is u here this is sigma and this is uh, v transpose over here so once you perform the singular value decomposition on the given matrix uh, you will get the uh, three singular uh, uh, matrices in this case so once you multiply all these uh, singular matrices uh, you will get uh, approximately equivalent to uh, the original matrix here it's almost equivalent so this is how we can cross check uh, whether you got the correct matrices or not so once you are getting almost equivalent to the original matrix the meaning is uh, you have done the correct calculation in this case in this video i have discussed how to perform a singular value decomposition on the given matrix and how to get uh, the three singular matrices over here i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching